Hey, what's poppin', guys? Goddesses, kings, queens, what the fuck is goes on YouTube? It's I'm about to bring you the word of the day for April 21st, 2021. I have already set with my team. I have already pre-shuffled your cards. Let's talk. Let's give them something to talk about. Talk to me, spirits. The herb of the day is alk. I'm going to spell it. A-L-K-A-N-E-T. Alkanet. It's used in money, business matters, gambling, luck, and spell work. It's, it's, it is to stop those who are trying to prevent you from being successful in money matters. So Alkanet, A-L-K-A-N-E-T, is used in money, business matters, gambling, luck, and spell work. It is used to stop those who are trying to prevent you from being successful. It, start, it, it is to help those that's jealous of you because you're proceeding and they got your money in the freezer or they did some candle to buy your money. This is to help to release it back to you. Alkanet, that is the herb of the day. Let's get into <clears throat> what messages that I have on my index cards that Spirit wants y'all to know. Talk to me, Spirit. What messages do you have for the overall energy? I'm getting a vision. This is someone that has a hotel outside the beach. I see you going outside to the beach when it's dark. And you got a blanket and you got a white candle. And you're sitting on the beach with the on top of the you got the blanket on top of the bleak bila, the sand on the beach. And you're meditating. You're connecting to Mama Wata. Mommy Wata is the dark version of Yemiya and La Seren. Mommy Wata. She wants to help you. Always understand goddesses and gods have a dark side and a light side. Just like you have a light side and you have a dark side. Mommy Wata is calling someone. I see someone going on the beach at night in the dark with a candle and a blanket. And she's calling y'all. She want to help you with your business and your prosperity. The spiritual animal that someone needs to call forth is a frog. It means cleansing, transformation, fertility, release from holding on to emotions or frog. So when you go into meditation, you need to call forth the spiritual animal frog. The next spiritual animal is a coyote. It brings cunningness. Cunningness is seer, sight, second sight. That's what cunningness means. It brings your second sight, which means you're clairvoyant or you're a seer. It brings cunningness. It's a trickster spirit, which means also it's going to help you identify trickster spirits. Because a coyote is very smart, very um, slick, very sneaky. It's also going to help you with medicine, humor, shapeshifter. Like I said, brand new opportunity, coyote. The next one is someone Someone got a spell put on them. It says, I put a spell on you. Someone um, has a spell put on them to help them. That's why... I am spirit made me do this herb I'll connect a l k a n e t because someone has a spell put on them to prevent you from money coming in. If you notice your money is slowing down, or you know it's like your business is not picking up like it's supposed to, it's because someone is jealous of you and they froze your access assets. So spirit is saying y'all need to relieve that. Y'all need to handle that. Go into meditation and ask them exactly what to do. And they will help you. If you don't have no color candles, always use white. White is a universal color. Just It's your intentions that all that matters is the white candle. I put a spell on you. They don't want you to succeed. The next inspirational card is play that shit, girl. Put that song on. You know the one. Bust a move, dance, wine, grind, shake. Let that music flow through you. Feel so good. The next inspiration one is stop. Be thankful. You are not alone. You are here in this moment. You are precious. You matter. God, angels, ancestors, 
all, all here for you. You are alive. What a blessing just to be. Let that shit go. The goal is understanding and even closure. Letting go of actions, people, events, and thoughts that no longer serve you in a positive way frees you to collect more of something worth keeping. Those are your inspirational quotes for today. Yeah, Mommy Water wants to talk to somebody. Talk to me, spirit. Can I get three cards? Sorry, guys. There we go. They gave four cards. Healing. Someone needs to heal. Someone needs to change their eating habits. Spirit is saying, you are earth angel. Pharmaceutical medicine is just okay, but you need to add some herbs to it. Herbs uh, help heal you. So if you have real bad allergies and sinuses, um, try taking natural bee pollen. If you're allergic to bees, I wouldn't suggest you to take bee pollen. But if you have real serious sinus and allergies, spirit is saying bee pollen. Also, if you have kidney stones, um, I'm hearing um, bayberry, B-A-Y-B-E-R-R-Y will also help with your kidneys. Also, if you have thyroid problems, I'm hearing dulse, D-U-L-S-E. Dulse is a very good herb for your thyroid. P Spirit wants y'all to surrender to your higher self. You have to retrieve the soul loss for you to re uh, step into your power. Some of y'all had a near-death experience. Some of y'all had your heart taken out from someone you dearly love, like a, a twin flame, and it just... It's like you wanted to give up. It just snatched you. It's like you wanted to die. Spirit is saying you need to surrender to your higher self, to the divine, and to your spiritual team, which is your ancestors, become that holy trinity. Some of y'all getting ready to start an adventure. I'm seeing Paris. Someone is going to go to Paris to for some type of spiritual intervention. Y'all really going to go to Paris, France. Y'all going to... Uh, take the train and y'all going to go to Italy. Y'all going to go to Greece, Greece. Sorry. They really want you to start traveling because you're going to start meeting like-minded people. Um, once again, somebody's soulmate is not in America. Someone's soulmate is from another country. And this is who you're going to settle down with. Everyone's soulmate is not in the same state as you are. So some of y'all going to be meeting people from another state or another country and some of y'all going to have dual citizenships dual citizenship i keep hearing ghana someone's soulmate is in ghana and y'all going to have so dual citizenship y'all going to have a big transformation a very big transition this is a big boom i mean we just left aries the moon in aries now we in the uh, um Taurus is in Venus. Then we in uh, something with Jupiter. I can't think right now, but everything is going through a big transition. Things are going to be starting happening for y'all. Good things. Also, you got to be careful because sometimes the past will come back and bite us in the ass. And this is uh, a, a chance to for y'all to... I... Oh, well, it's just going to have to look funny. I don't care. It's just going to ha- Ah! It's getting stuck. And it's a big transformation for y'all. Be careful. This is a test. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. What other messages? Let's get into the tarot. Don't look at my nose ring. I don't know why it's, it's acting up, but oh well. Just focus on the message. Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, you have the lovers' cards. That's like I said, some of y'all going about meeting y'all lovers. It ain't going to be in the same state. For some of y'all, it's not going to be in the same country.
You have a lot of major arcanas. This person that y'all going to meet, you know, uh, energy is universal, so it can be masculine or feminine. This person is going to have money. This person is going to be on top of the shit. This person is going to come help you get on top of your shit. This person is already wealthy. You're not going to know it because this person is like an introvert. He don't like he or she don't like drawing attention to them. This person's already have money. You're just not going to know it. This is going to move very rapidly. Be careful, like I said, of what you're asking for, of how you asking, you manifesting your demigod or demigoddess, or you manifesting this car or this money because everything comes with a price. So when you manifesting your demigod or demigoddess, which is your soulmate, make sure they healed on the inside, also on the outside. Some of y'all are just asking for the physical outside and you don't understand they fucked up on the inside. Spirit is saying they want you to really go through it, through it, through it thoroughly. Describe it like you want to. So if you're asking for someone to be healthy and fit, make sure you're healthy and fit because y'all need to match one another. So if y'all asking for somebody who's very spiritual, then y'all need to get on y'all spiritual shit. Iron sharpens iron. This is a person that's going to activate you and you're going to activate them. Spirit is also saying those that's trying to start your business or those that's trying to manifest a house or a car, they want you to draw it out like a blueprint. Just like when a person's about to build a house, they do a blueprint of how they want it, everything, design it how you want it and speak it into existence. Like I said, your love life is starting to come up. This person likes snakes. So I don't know. You need to tell them how you feel about this snakes, but he is an introvert. He's very business minded. He was always, he came from a successful family. He or she did. So they always, they come from a successful family, very wealthy. And this is going to move in really quick. The world is yours. Things are changing for things. Their cycles closing and new beginnings for you because the planets are align, aligning up and they going into their rightful place. And it's going to help you a lot. Things, spirit wants y'all to look at things on a different side. Quit looking at things as a human side. They want you to look at things as a spiritual side. Just because it hasn't happened, just say, okay, maybe it's something I'm not doing right. Or maybe it's a delay on that person's sign. Remember, God's rejection is your protection, okay? Um, this is the Ace of Pentacles under the King of Cups. Like I said, this person is very, 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 very rich very financially set you won't have to worry about nothing i'm hearing a lot of traveling um if y'all going to get this shot make sure you boost up your immune system with a lot of vitamin d3 a lot of zinc a lot of vitamin c a lot of herbs of the earth to boost up your i'm hearing oregano all of eve's tincture drink that stuff before you get the shot temptation um is like y'all being tempted y'all trying to heal y'all changing this and all of a sudden these old fuck boys fuck girls are starting to come in it's a text like i said your past someone's past is going to come up and bite them in the ass this is a test when the student is ready the teacher will appear so i want you to know this is a test that you're going to go through spirit is also saying some of y'all are trying to detox but your body's weak because you keep cheating. You keep eating these junk food. Spirit is saying, no, if you don't want diabetes, if you don't want high cholesterol, high blood pressure, you're going to have to start changing the way you eat. Some of y'all just eating to be eating. Spirit is saying, stop. Y'all eating processed food and it's causing a lot of sickness in your body. A lot of mucus, a lot of constipation, a lot of bloating, a lot of itchy skin. It's like your face is breaking out because you're eating that that preservative food which is not good for you also once again y'all trying to love y'all love life y'all trying to walk away and do right as soon as you start fasting and do right the enemy comes and attack you but they preparing you for something great let's see what do they need to know about this this is going to move very rapidly spirit is saying when you starting to meet your soulmate don't be so like, Ugh. you know, get to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, you bond deeping. It's like y'all going to finish one of each other's sentences. Give your relationship a chance because this is not your normal type. They said, don't look at it that way. Look at the soul. The eyes are the gateway to the soul. Work on your partnership because this is the one that's going to help you succeed. This is the one that's going to help you. And I'm hearing the sex is fire. So don't go about on the outside. Children, if you don't have children, you will be having children with this individual. 
If you don't, y'all going to have step parents. You're going to be a stepmom and a stepdad. Your love life is going to like your love life is being affected by children. So therefore, children are involved. This is going to change your finances and your career because this person is financially set. This person is going to boost you up. Also, let your friends help you. Pick and choose your friends. Some friends are going to be jealous. Use your intuition and ask them which um which friends is there for you? Okay, which friends is there for you? What other messages do you have for the overall energy? Everybody's not your friend. Everybody's not your friend. Start using your intuition. What other messages? Once again, a lot of money and wealth. This person that's coming into your life has a lot of money and wealth, but you're not going to know it because he's an introvert. He don't like to draw attention to him. Every example that I use is like J. Cole. It's going to be that J. Cole. Some of y'all about to get a new home. Y'all about to sign your contract about getting a home built. Some of y'all going to go through legal problems, you know, legal problems. Sometimes I'm hearing grand larceny. Someone's doing food stamp fraud or some type of... Uh, unemployment fraud and you about to get caught doing it this is legal problems domestic problems also this is has to also have to do with domestic violence someone is putting uh needs to put a restraining order on somebody and someone's about to get back child support um spirit saying check your child support card something hit this person that y'all gonna meet that's coming in your life is very highly sensitive as fuck is they have strong emotionals. This is a male. They very they am an empath, so they very emotional. No, they're not a sissy. No, they're not a punk. No, they're not like this. They very sensitive. They're empath. They're very psychic. They're going to be able to call you out. They're going to be able to tell you about some, uh, something about yourself, and that's what y'all's going to draw to one another. Someone also is going to meet a flirtatious woman who loves to party. Um people love her she's one of a kind she's going she's very spiritual some of y'all going to be drawn to her and she's going to guide you on the spiritual path start looking out your ancestors are ready to move y'all in the right direction to people that y'all need to put y'all on the right path some of y'all feeling overlooked but spirit is saying no 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 more this is your time to walk into your power and your glory some of y'all need to start saying those affirmations i am powerful i am divinity i walk in my power i am a powerful yada 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 ray 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 i am successful i am truth i am light i am love you need to start saying these affirmations some of y'all are in a relationship that is one-sided love spirit is saying you can't expect this individual to properly love you because they don't properly love themselves. Quit giving your pearls to swine. Someone that you go out to meet is going to be very loyal because you're very loyal. Y'all going to be pouring into one another. Y'all going to be finishing each other's sentences. Y'all going to be pouring like, I got you this time. No, I got you this time. It's like y'all going to be very generous to one another. What other messages do you have for them, spirit? Once again, general prosperity, a peaceful home life. Some of y'all, y'all kicked that motherfucker out, and now y'all house is peaceful. Y'all finally did it. You said, fuck this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dealing with this no more. So you finally left them out. You got your keys changed and everything. You telling your kids, don't open the door to this motherfucker. It's done. And you're going to save that bitch, and you're going to save your sheets and everything. Uh, Spirit is saying, Y'all going to have a peaceful home life. Someone keeps spending a night over a man's house. Spirit wants you to know that has a body count on that bed. He had a lot of intimate relationships on that bed. That's why you can't sleep right. That's why you edgy when you spend a night over that house. Because uh, that bed got a lot of... Um, Y'all need to burn it and get a new bed. Someone is very selfish. This is a selfish relative who only cares about themselves. And every time you tell them about themselves or you tell them something, they want to argue with you. They get in their feelings. They easily offended. Spirit is saying that is a karmatic family member. You need to go in deep meditation and cut that motherfucker off. When you cut that motherfucker off, you're not cutting them away from them you're just going to start giving them their own shit back and say this does not resonate with me i give this shit back to you you can have it start carrying your own cross start carrying your own cross spirit is saying what other messages do you have for them today the colors of the day is purple and gold some of y'all are toxic 
Y'all toxic. Y'all wondering why y'all relationship ain't working because you're the toxic one. Y'all really need to take the time and heal. When you get in an argument with somebody, that's you facing you in the mirror. Y'all mirroring one another. And that's something you need to work on. Sometimes it's not that individual. It's you. You're the toxic one. Y'all have a lot of toxic behavior, and but y'all want to blame everybody but yourself. Spirit is saying y'all need to start blaming yourself. Sometimes this problem is you and not the other person. Someone is pregnant. Pregnancy, you're going to find it's like you gave up on it, like, fuck it. Then you can be like, I don't feel too good. You're going to find out you're pregnant. Congratulations, Felicity Dottis. Some of y'all are going to be uh, spiritually pregnant, which means growth and expansion. Some of y'all are going to be uh, pregnant by spirit, which means they had to use your egg and your DNA to impregnate you because someone down the line is going to have a, diff a gifted child and you have this exact DNA for this child. So you're going to be spiritually impregnated. So they taking it from you. Because you're going to feel sick. Nauseated. Bloating. Hungry. You're going to have all the symptoms of pregnancy. But you're not pregnant. You're pregnant in the spirit. It's because they using you. Your DNA or your seed. to Or your egg. To transport it in somebody else. Needlessness. Changing unrealistic expectations. Spirit is saying stop being codependent on people. And start be being codependent on you. On God and your spiritual team. A law of attraction. You are what you attract. So if you're tired of hanging around these boo-boo the fools. Then you need to change your vibration. You know what I'm saying? If you keep hanging around users. They're going to turn into abusers. You see what I'm saying? If you keep hanging around dogs with fleas. You're going to catch fleas. So Spirit is saying you are what you attract. So start speaking a positivity and start hanging around people that speak and see and hear your same language. Y'all be blessed. Namaste. I see you.